It was here on a cold day in February 1996, where 40 year old Daisy McGuire's body was found badly beaten and frozen. My daddy always told us whatever you do, you protect your sisters. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, this guy got a choice. My sister didn't have a choice. The pain from Daisy McGuire's vicious murder remains fresh for her brother, Bobby Simmons. This man beat this girl with a jack eye in her head. And uh, I just, I always, always thought about, man, what was, what was, what was she feeling? What was she going through? Because it's just, you know, it's just a lot. She was 40 years old when she went missing in February 1996. After about a week, investigators discovered her body in the 900 block of Magnolia Street. Her sister, Rosemary Wilson, remembers getting the knock on her door. The detectives came to my house. That's when they came and told me. They say, sit down. I say, sit down for what? And they, you know, start talking. And I told them, I said, I already know what y'all going to tell me. For almost 23 years, they wanted answers, prayed for a confession. Then, just a few weeks ago, 78-year-old Samuel Little, a man convicted of murdering three women in California, made a grisly confession. He is currently being charged for his connection to a cold case in Texas. It's here where he admitted to murdering McGuire. Because of his confession, investigators believe he's connected to 90 other cold cases spanning multiple states between 1970 and 2005. For McGuire's two siblings, it's a sense of relief. I'm grateful that they caught him and for all these other families, man, I, you know, my heart goes out to these people. As horrible as their sister's death was, they don't want Little to get the death penalty. Let him feel some of the pain that these people felt, you know, and... To me, that's that's worse than execution. In Homa, I'm Carice Jackman, Eyewitness News.